Hello guys, we are back to react to another thing about that we forgot about old siege. I have been playing since the start of the game and so many things have changed and we are going to be doing another reaction video on the gazebo miser who actually put out a part 3 on the video. So guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to follow uh, the gazebo miser. I'm going to be putting his link down below and let's get into reacting the video. Okay, let's get started with uh, the video. Hopefully there's going to be more things that I remember because it felt like I have forgotten a lot of things about the old siege, so to speak. Remember when Malusi's gadget was bulletproof and the only thing you could break it with was a melee hit or explosive? Yeah. Here are even more things you might not remember about old siege. Oh my god. The vibes of old nighttime coastline. This is another yeah. prime example of why I, I hated the, the music in this map. The, the map the is the just music more was enjoyable so bad. and has a much better vibe at night. It reminds me of summer of 2017. And shout out to Verge Poland from my Discord for getting me this gameplay. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I think vaulting was faster if you were sprinting at the window. You could actually tap Firefrost's gun faster than it actually shot in full auto. Here's a comparison yeah, from the I Goat Serenity. Yeah. This is full auto? And then I'm gonna shoot? Let, tell me if it's faster. That's faster. <laughs> yeah. When Maestro would talk about Ash's head hitbox being small, how does anyone manage to shoot Ash? Her head is so small. <laughs> the animation for meleeing a barricade was much different in the E3 yeah, build Yeah, I remember that. It was more of a lunge rather than a smack with the butt of your gun. Individual operator stats. Each operator yes, used to have their I own want... stats, where you could see KD. Guys, I could not pause there for a second. I want that back so bad because I literally kept the track on my kills. Like the Maestro Cam kills, for example, I freaking loved knowing how many C4 kills I gotten, how many have I killed with the smoke, or like Maestro and like Cap Gun Draft. Like, I miss it so much, guys. I want it back. I want to keep track on how many I have actually killed in this game. Like, please, Ubisoft, bring it back, please. Win loss, time played, and a few more things. This was a really cool feature, and I think this is something that should most certainly return. I'm not even sure why it was taken out in the first place. That pixel peak on old clubhouse where you could look right into oil pit. Yeah, this I was remember also that. I used blue that stairs so... were a thing, so all you needed to worry about was stocks hatch getting opened. I remember the old that. SMG I didn't had no want to go in. You were better off using this as your primary, yeah. especially since it had ACOG. Spawn peeking used to go crazy with this too. When Glass first got buffed, peeking through the bullet holes you'd make on a castle barricade was insanely overpowered, since all you needed to see was a bright yellow guy for yeah. a free pick, the GHS compensator. This was the only pistol to have a compensator, and I have no clue why. But shout out to Weirdo26 yeah. from my Discord for getting me this clip. There was a glitch where you could have multiple of the same operators. Could you imagine something like five cap cans? That's 25 traps you gotta worry about. Back before reverse friendly that, fire, though. Cav could down all of her teammates with her pistol since it's always a knock, no matter where you hit the person. Then you could leave the game, and your team would lose the round. Yeah. But shout out to A9EO from my Discord for the clip. That has I know the servers me. still aren't the best sometimes in current Siege, but the old servers were pretty bad. It was rare having good ping, even with wired connection. Like in this old clip, yeah. you can see how delayed everything is, and also how no one has good ping. The longest round ever recorded was from eight years ago, and I'm not even joking. It was an hour long, and it wasn't even a ranked what? game. The secure area standoffs were notorious, but this was on a whole different level. You used to be able to play Jesus. the drum on Skyscraper. Now, unfortunately, it breaks when you hit it. On Old Oregon, uh... the hatch in the kid's bedroom was on the opposite side, and dropping down it would lead you into a pantry, and there was yeah. no kitchen corridor. But there was I a door that led that. right out of the kitchen next to classroom. It was the so ACOG easy to flank. The ACOG in the E3 build of the game looked a lot different, but it would actually be really cool to play this version of Siege. Mira originally had a different voice actress. Not sure yeah. why she got changed, but here are some of her old quotes. I'm taking it down. Get your ass ready. I got this. I got this. I'll be watching you. Let me have a look at you, capullos. This is what she sounds like. I remember like. that. Let me have a look at you, capullos. Detonating Nitro! Secured the hostage. When Amaru first came out, 
when you would fly into a window, yeah, she was you were fast. locked in place for a second. And that second was all the difference in a gunfight. But shout out to yeah. Mika from my Discord for sending this That was this really a There was a glitch on nerf. Old Consulate at the Riot Barricade spawn. If you drove your drone into the wall, you could see a lot of the basement. And obviously the defenders couldn't see this drone, so it was pretty strong. Capital used to be able to shoot his firebolts through the tiles on Villa, and they'd actually land in spots I that people know would that actually. sit in, like Astro Did or I miss bathroom. that? But these spots were all over the map, and not too many people knew about it. The showdown yeah. event. This is one of my yeah. top five siege events. It was I a lot of fun, that one. and the music for this game mode was awesome. The DeLorean from Back to the Future. This was a really cool Easter egg in the showdown event, where they had the DeLorean hidden in a cave, just like it was in Back to the Future Part 3. Guys, that game mode was so fun, but I was I'm really bad with the boss G and with the revolver. It was like the worst combination for me to use. Like, I'm not even joking. The worst combination for me. Like, I rarely got any kills. And I hated the sight on this weapon as well. I'm like, no. But I still could not get enough of playing it. Because it was so much fun. Bring it back. It just update the map a little bit. Then I think I would be able to come back and maybe get some more kills. Ash's grenade launcher used to make more of an oval-shaped hole, rather than what we have now, which is a bit more rounded and bigger altogether. Glaz's rifle used to do 180 damage, which is actually insane. This yeah. meant he could one-shot any yeah. operator, no matter the armor. But shout out yeah. once again to Verge Poland from my I Discord. Think I've, I've this think... guy has been collecting yeah. old Siege gameplay like they are Infinity Stones. I don't think you can do this anymore on Clubhouse. But hopping up on the crates yeah, and that one, I know that the one. oil pit. That one is old. Thing, we did that so at much. At least doing this with the SMG 11A COG isn't. In the E3 build of Siege, the kill cams used to be in third person. And the third person kill cam did actually make it to the game, but only for t yeah. bombers. During Operation Chimera, they had their own special packs as they usually have for yes. events. But you could get an Ash Elite skin out of these yeah, packs called Yeah, I got, Black I have that, guys, this I have that. This cutscene that would play when you failed to save Jaeger during Outbreak. I want the Chimera to come back! Silent dropping. If you were prone while falling down a hatch or a yeah, ledge, did that as you would well. be completely silent. That was really This was OP. especially great with Cav. But I think Silent Drop also might have returned this season. Unintentionally, of course. Looking away from flashbangs mm -hmm. would allow you to completely avoid being blinded. Now, if it lands within a certain distance of you, you'll be blind no matter what. But if you're facing away, you'll be blind for less time. Ash used to yeah. have flashes. She was incredibly strong with the three flashes and her old R4C. I think she had one of the highest pick rates when she had all this, since she could almost do yeah. everything. If someone didn't have the diffuser picked up, you wouldn't be able to see where the bomb site was, even after yeah. it was spotted. Being able to team kill in the prep phase, this was the guys. Just you know, that change was not done too long ago. To be honest, it was not long ago they did the change, which I'm super happy they did. So that was a good choice. Best, but also the worst, especially if you just didn't clutch around. The Legion hostage glitch. You would injure the hostage a little bit, then Legion would throw his goo mine up in the air and leave the game as fast as he could before the goo mine hit the ground. Once he left, the mine would still be there and go off, downing the hostage. But for whatever reason, it would count as the attackers downing the hostage, giving defense a free round. I didn't Lasers know that. used to be visible. And I'm not talking about when you see it on a wall. I mean the laser in its entirety. Yeah. Like the whole line from start to finish. The vibes of old Cafe Dovstoyevsky at night. This is another yeah. map that's just so much better at night. With all the Christmas lights on and in cafe. I remember that. As well as the buildings in the surrounding area. Speaking of old cafe, there was no balconies on either side of the third floor. Yeah. So obviously there was no second roof hatch. It you was couldn't even break the walls hard. on either side where the balconies currently are, since it was all concrete. But once it again, was shout out to Verge Poland to get in the there, gameplay. guys. It was on old hard. Cafe, there was a drone hole that let you look right and into the And that freaking drone hole, I hated it so bad. To reading or laundry. There was a room that was filled with nitro cells on old tea hunt. Yeah. And just hearing all of them beeping still gives me PTSD. Not only was there the nitro cell room, but there was also a room just filled with barbed wire. Like, guys, that... You needed to do that for, like, a mission. I think it was situation. Uh, that it was a lot of C4s. But, like, seriously, like, you, you couldn't go past 
like the room unless you have shot on every single one and when you like are almost done you die from some C4 you accidentally missed like and you have to restart everything to shoot everything again like it's so annoying like like you said it's very stressful with the C4s I, I still have it today just as he said not really sure what the purpose of this was but once again shout out to Verge Poland from my discord for the gameplay in the yeah. siege alpha there was a graph that would show off when you got a kill or killed someone and it would show when it happened in the round two. Yeah, I remember that. But I would that like to see did this not. In some way. This uh, Maybe something did they not could have for posting. make it. So Back when speak. select fire was in the game, people would use rapid fire macros. Basically, you'd have no recoil and a fast fire rate. In other words, they were cheating and sadly never got banned, at least on console. Can't speak for PC. On Old Chalet, mm. there was a second set of stairs in West Main that oh, led yes. up to what is now Piano. There was also a doorway that. that led into West Main right to outside instead of just a window. You used to be able to put mirrors on hatches. Nah, I'm kidding, this is photoshopped, but it would have been hilarious. In the Alpha, the P90 sounded much different. I honestly like this sound better. Sounds more realistic. Oh, they're going for it. He's gonna find it. On Old Clubhouse, there were the tinted windows and garage above Raptors that Yeah, you could shoot I remember through. that one. I believe both sides could do it too. The first time I saw it was from this very clip from Serenity I remember 17. that one. Did not on uh, border, get the kill on it, though. You actually shoot through the cracks of time and archives getting anyone out yep. on the AC window. I did that The old P9 well. iron sights. This is a very slight difference. But here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Basically, the old one has circle night sights, and the new are yeah. triangles. Back on old Hereford base, you could sit up in the laundry room and impact yeah. trip the trench. Yeah, I know this one. Which was to keep closed. Back when you could see nameplates, they were visible through smoke, which was obviously very broken. Pretty much a yeah. glass before he had his thermal. Mute's old victory pose. Why would they get rid of this? This was a really yeah. cool thing to have, and I don't see the point of getting rid of it. On old cafe, you could open up the top part of the kitchen wall next to red stairs yep. and sit on the railing, giving you a great angle into the kitchen, pretty much cutting off that spot looking into prep. That was so OP, mirrors. guys. You could it also was do this on old Hereford base at the trench ridiculous. wall, which was another great spot to sit. The old drone pickup animation. By the way, guys, Hanford Base was like a really fun playground. The old one it was so much fun playing just to be stupid, not like no brains, basically going in playing that map. I would like to have that map back just in like quick game. Just go in and have fun, you know? Like, I have missed that old map. It was so much fun. This was pretty goofy looking. Kind of looks like the operator was just slapping it with both arms. But once again, shout out to Verge Poland for the gameplay. There was no advanced drone deployment back in the day, so once you threw your drone, you hopped right on it. This led to a lot of tragedies because of siege time. Mm -hmm. Another crazy angle was on Old Canal where you open the server hatch and kitchen window, letting you look down on the outside stairs. Oh, Not yeah. only was there the hatch angle, yeah, but the server was standing so on the table broken. that you look through the little server grates out the hall and server window. The old Oregon theme. Don't get me wrong, I think the new one is great, but the old one is just perfect. It feels really fitting to the map, especially since it's based off of the Waco Con. Ella was so broken when Oregon came out. didn't break open castle barricades in the Alpha. They would just bounce off and fly right back at you. When Vigil and Dokabi first came out, the boss G didn't have an ACOG. And I'm pretty sure the Siege community is responsible for it getting added, because so many people were asking for it. Sometimes putting up a barricade was super glitchy and would launch you backwards. Shout out to Odd from my Discord for the clip. The first ever that battle was pass freaky. was only seven tiers. It was free for everyone, but was only in the game for about a yeah, week. Yeah, I remember that. This I tied think in I have with it the introduction still. of Harry, hence the name. Rainbow is magic. The first time this was added was back in 2019, and it was actually <laughs> just regular hostage instead of TDM. It was also poorly received at the time, since this is when the skins started to get a little crazier and steered away yeah. from the tactical uniforms. <laughs> but now I feel like it's aged like a fine wine. Hiding under the tables and bar on old clubhouse. Yes, I this did that. Great I spot did I that. From Serenity 17. So much fun doing Kat, that. Who was still in her prime at the time? I don't think this specific cheat has happened recently, <laughs> but cheaters were able to fly around the map with aimbot. Jesus it's Christ. just really funny how bad Battle Eye was and honestly still is. The blue bar yeah. glitch. You could prone up to the couch and start floating. Then you could prone your way over to the bar and hide inside of it. And of course, this was a perfect spot for Echo. Another great hiding spot from the Goat Serenity 17 was in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I remember that as well. I did that. Because of the old lighting and really dark spot, you could not be seen. 
yet again another great spot for Cav. On old theme park, the layout of initiation and it office was so were dark, a lot guys. The Everything map was felt so more dark. cluttered and condensed, as well as it being insanely dark, even on the daytime version of the map. This was a small change to coastline, but a nice one. You weren't able to barricade the luggage windows. Back when secure area was in ranked, the basement was one of the most picked sites on Villa, and now no one ever goes down there because there's no site and just no point to go down there. I definitely do miss secure area in ranked. You used to be able to survive claymores when you overhealed yourself with Doc. Yeah, if you try it in current that's actually siege, true. You get knocked. On old chalet, Blue used to cut off at the door going into snowmobile, so there was no second door that led yeah. into the line. On old border, the bathroom was much smaller and wasn't connected to tellers at all. There was also no hatch either. The only way in and out was yeah. from the doorway. The bathroom had in the border was The skylight bad, glitch guys. on Villa. If you kept spamming the rappel, you could maneuver your way onto the skylight, giving you some decent angles onto Astro, Statue, Trophy, and Red I've Hall. heard about this, The skylight but on border still had a though. wall there, but it was lower. So you could see the hallway as well as bottom east stairs. By the way, guys, did you know there's something that they have changed over time? This guy, Amaru, has the rectangle sight. It look at how small the green thing in the middle is compared to how it is today. That's tiny. That's super, super tiny. Jesus Christ. And of course, this was before the catwalk connecting break room and east was added. Getting in the van on old consulate. I really don't know how people find this stuff, but you'd put a shield down in antechamber and then break the bottom part of the barricade and keep proning and getting up until you fell into the van. Similar setup to the previous glitch, but this one was on bank. And when you would prone in between the door about and shield, you would fall in between the floors. Cheaters used to be able to sprint around with Clash's shield out. It's yeah, pretty goofy looking, I, I but I wonder if this was ever intended by Ubisoft. I actually Oregon, saw that. One of the bomb sites was both floors of tower. I know this won't happen. Oh, that but I would site was. Love for this site to oh return, my god, since guys, I have the most fun that defending site, the worst sites. Just saying. And I know this would be super chaotic. That site, guys, like if we go back a little bit, uh, like this, that was the worst site ever on Oregon. The worst site, because you usually go Monty on the door and just plant it. Unless you have everyone on the C4, like. That was the worst thing ever to put the bomb there. Like, as a defender, like, it was... You didn't want to go there. But for some odd reason, there were randoms that wanted to go there, and it was... You you lost pretty easily. But that was horrendous. ...won't happen. But I would honestly love for this site to return, since I have the most fun defending the worst sites. And I know this would be super chaotic. Also, another thing about tower was the wall next to the stairs was soft, yeah, that, so you could watch the well. tower door from there. This clip of Bolo getting hit by a C4 is always hilarious. Oh my. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck, man. My heart's not ready for this type of shit. The old texture glitch on Villa. No clue what caused this one, but it was really funny. Damn. Also really annoying. Just a bunch of random objects in places they wow. shouldn't be. Hiding under the table on old skyscraper in the office. This was even better yeah, than that I did bombs, it uh, you as well. in between the chassis and table. This iconic old clip of the guy breaks trying to figure out how to get into objective. King Hurd! I don't know how! If you don't, he will die and we will lose! I don't know how to get in the room! I don't know how to speak to you, you fucking mom! Are you retarded? Yes. Get in. We'll be detected How? By How? One out four remaining. Right. One of them is in. <laughs> Poor guy. Down below. I can't. How do I go down? The things. The stairs. Okay. <laughs> Get in there, you shit! <laughs> Gold medal for you! Our four failed their <laughs> Poor guy! Poor guy! <laughs> Christ! We all have, used to become like, 2D tech. Guys, we have all, when we are new at the game, gotten lost at some point. Be honest, hand on the heart. Heart. <laughs> like, 
we all have gone lost and still get lost sometimes. You know, like, it, it's crazy to have all the memory of every single map. If you if you know the maps by heart, then you're a freaking god. Textures to prevent clipping through walls, but this ended up leading to some really funny glitches. The five windows above garage on Old Chalet. Yay! I love These that. These windows were the best way to counter the so garage much. getting opened. It got to a point where attackers just waited out the C4 because everyone knew it was coming. And of course, this was when you could still yeah. throw Valkyrie cams outside. There I used to be absolutely so no often. censoring or repercussions <laughs> for typing something vulgar in the chat. You can see more crazy things said in a few of Anthony Pitt's old videos. All of the other windows on Old Chalet. But these mm, were up on yeah. the balcony. And a Those place you'd always find a prime bad. blackbeard sitting. Those windows made it impossible to rotate by top fireplace or main lobby. In the E3 build of Siege, none of the outside windows or doors were automatically barricaded. You had to go around and close everything yourself. In the Siege Alpha, yeah. the old site selection screen used to look like a blueprint of the map, which was a pretty cool design. But I do think I prefer the current one. The heartbeat sensor in the closed Alpha was blue and it also showed the exact distance of the enemy. Yeah. On Old Clubhouse, there were two hatches on the gym side of the building. One was in the middle of the logistics roof rather than the corner, and the other was right yeah. in the middle of the I gym roof. I remember that as making well. Making it one of the hardest sites to defend. It was so IQ's hard. IQ's old voice lines since Smynum, not sure if that's how you say your name, has been asking for multiple days in a row. Okay, stay here! We'll be right back! Applying first aid! Bomb detected! Stay here and keep your head down! Vic, run! It might be hard to notice this one, but screen shaking. This was a bigger change yeah. than people might realize. But screen shaking could really throw off That was aim. bad, now you can just the screen turn it off. shaking. On Old Oregon, Ugh. bunker was way smaller. Elbow was not a thing, so obviously yeah. there was only one wall that could be opened. The actual bunker itself was about half the size of the current one, and there were no barrels outside to head glitch on since it was a single door. Really easy for old Mira to hold. This was the original motion capture for putting up a barricade. This was the original animation for ripping down a barricade. And this was the original reinforcing a hatch animation. Nice. That's so cool. The old fridge glitch on house. Similar to the other glitches with the shield and barricade, that was actually really except cool, this guys. would push you sideways into the fridge. Shout out to VicBuzo4 from my Discord for the clip. Back when Bartlett University was in multiplayer, there was a secure area site that was two floors. So naturally, this yeah. led to some very long standoffs, especially in rank. Yeah, I remember Obviously, that. Oh my god. But shout out to Believing His Art for my the clip. I hated the clip. I hated One of the first of ever holiday related skins for Siege was this Christmas sweater that came out all the way back in 2015. And I... shout out to Odd from my Discord for I the think screenshot I have that. on the test server a while Actually. back. They tested what it would be like to have the rooftop hatches automatically reinforced. I guess they didn't like it since it never made it past the test server. The lighting of old Siege. Looking outside as a defender yeah. was like staring right into the sun, and looking into a building as an attacker was like looking into a void of darkness. Yeah, the I wobbling that's... victory screen glitch. Not sure if something triggered this in-game or if it was just random, but the victory screen would just wobble around outside of the map somewhere. And shout out to Froppy from my Discord for the clip. The operator selection screen in the closed alpha. This is honestly something that stayed relatively the same, but it's crazy to see how many operators there were compared to now. Yeah. In the alpha and beta, instead of the teams just being your team and opponents, it was Raven Shield and Rogue Spear. These are cool names and I'm not sure why they changed it up. In the closed beta, when you were on the cameras, the sounds of explosions and shots popping sounded much more realistic and actually yeah. sounded really it, good. It sounded really a hollow, dude, heavy like, it in sounded the good here, beta, but it was so... The holographic site was really zoomed in, almost like an ACOG. On Old Chalet, instead of an enclosed solarium, there was an outside balcony that led into the yeah, master bedroom. Yeah, that was crazy. This made master bedroom very difficult to hold as a defender, because there was almost nowhere to sit. Twitch's old drone went through a lot of changes, and I've covered most of them. But I didn't cover that her old drone had a pretty low vertical limit, meaning you could only look up a certain amount before it stopped you. On the loading screen for Yacht, there used to be a random recruit just standing there out on the ice. It was pretty funny, and I they honestly should that. have left him there. In the E3 build of Siege, the door in the garage on house with all the debris and random things that were piled up was fully open. This is the door I'm talking about. 
but now it's completely gone on New House. A great way to get points back in the day was to spam Vigil's ability when there were a bunch of drones around. <laughs> this would send you right to the top of the leaderboard to steal MVP, almost yeah. as good as constantly scanning enemies on a camera. The Apocalypse event. This was a fun change of pace, but a bit forgettable. But it did have a few cool skins. When Siege first came out, yeah. everyone thought Bolo was a cheater. Then a couple years later, Bolo ended up on a team with some of the pros that called him a cheater. Uh, Bolo is not, this, no, this kid's not legit. On Old Oregon, if you opened up the e-box wall, you could see all the way into Longview. Yeah, I remember that one, the it was stairs, so nasty. Since the shelves that are there now blocking that line of sight were open. There used to be a glitch where you couldn't reload any of your weapons. This is another glitch that would just randomly happen and was unbelievably frustrating. On old border, since the back wall and archives was moved up a lot more. When you got oh, up yeah, on the desk, you could do you that. Could I totally forgot office. about it though. You could also you can, vault you over the top part. Kind of can it still right do it this some of way, course, but another that's... glitch using the deployable shield and barricade, but this one was on old Hereford. This one would drop you into a spot that would have you outside but not detected and let you see a lot of key spots on the map. This weird sledge elite glitch in the victory screen was honestly hilarious. <laughs> the old favela theme. Funny. It just reminds me of a cool summer night when Skull Rain first dropped. Just hearing those fireworks and the noises of favela was I the best. I hated the defending it. upstairs. Back when Echo first I came hated out, it. He was the only one that had access to his drone meaning no other defender could use his drone as a camera. This was also before bulletproof cameras yeah. were a thing too, so defenders only had access to defaults and Valkyrie cams. Back on old Skyscraper, the Geisha hatch was in the middle of the room, rather than behind yeah. the wall closer to drum. If this got opened, it made it very hard for the defenders to hold kitchen, hiding under the desk in the front office on Bartlett University. Doing this paired with the nighttime version of the map made you impossible to see. I did that. And this okay. was a high traffic yeah, I did. area. So you were most likely going to see at least one guy. Yeah, I did. The window on old house Maybe with the slits not in it that, that would let you but... see into a good amount of the top floor hallway and a couple of the rooms. Yeah, I remember that as well. You could put a claymore well. in the victory screen and it would kill whoever was standing there. This was honestly hilarious. The fire camo. You could only get this camo if you played the siege beta. And I do have this, but I don't even use it anymore but it's not available on the R6 marketplace, so I'd say it's pretty rare. The kitchen and Mission Barbecue site were a lot different. Both of the rooms weren't connected with a door like it is now, and there was also yeah. no cover in the pantry. It was crucial for someone so to hold that So many changes to the maps, guys. The so the many changes. And Mission Barbecue had a window in the back middle of the room. And the kitchen had a wooden wall that could be opened. Yeah, that wall When they first changed the pistol so recoil, bad. they didn't move at all. And this finally made the Desert Eagle a viable secondary. Attackers used to only have one claymore, so you had to use it wisely with your placement. And as you can see in this clip, Thermite used to have claymores, which was kind of nice. On Old Chalet, yeah. there was no closet and bar that connected it to games. And there was a hatch behind the bar that once again was very crucial yeah, to keep closed. Yeah, I remember there that. There was also a wall where the door next to main That's stairs really, currently really is. That's really, really bad. Hey everyone, it's uh, actually me again. I just want to take the time to say thank you for the crazy support I got on the last two videos and all my YouTube shorts, and as well as hitting 10k subs. I, I mean, those are all crazy milestones that I honestly never thought I'd see. So Aww. thank you for that. Uh, this might be the last part of the old Siege videos, um, unless I find more stuff, but uh, it would probably be like a 10, 15 minute video at most. This definitely won't be the end of Siege content. Uh, I still have some ideas up my sleeve, but probably just like the end of the, the old Siege videos and, and the <laughs> style that they're made now. Um, or, you know, I could cover other games like I have on my TikTok, like Call of Duty or Dead by Daylight, which I do have an example of that I'm going to show you. But before we get to that, I just want to say thank you again, and then I'll let Jinxie and Bateman close the video out. Remember the Thundergun Easter egg in the Black Ops 1 campaign? Here are even more things you might not remember about old Call of Duty. How bad the jet gun was. This is a top... Okay, we are not going to be watching uh, that Call of Duty. Um, but yeah. That was uh, it, guys. Like... Jesus, that was crazy. I'm like, I kind of remember most of the things, like all the changes to the map, I kind of remember. And some of those, like, 
patches and stuff. I'm so glad that they are not there anymore because it was super hard to like uh, defend. Uh, I do have videos that is from that prime time when I was playing and I actually had 1600 DPI on my mouse. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave it uh, when uh, the next video, when this video, I mean, is over. But thank you so much for supporting me in this and I'm so happy that I can react to videos like this. It warms my heart to see so much uh, Rainbow Six Siege content. And I will do another reaction video very soon, guys. So, yeah, this was it. And guys, don't forget to follow Gazebo Master as well, Meister as well. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. So I wish you guys an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.